Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Neha and today we are going to practice the day 5 of our 7 days yoga chakrasana challenge. So before we start today, I want to tell you that when you work on particular body part continuously for like very long time, right? Say 5, 6, 7 days, then you see the change, you won't see a lot of changes because it's not advisable to work on same body part every day with lot of stress. So you need to take enough break in between. So today we are going to do a very mild session. It's kind of relaxing your spine muscles. If you're working on last four days continuously, which is like a lot of stress for the spine, then today going to be a good relaxation. This is very important. You please do not ignore today's session because today is going to relax your all your spine muscles as well as your shoulders. When you get back to uh, the practice tomorrow again, you can feel like your body is energetic and your muscles are relaxed and you can easily get back. And we are not going to do a lot of stretches today because you have to relax your spine. Before we start, I want you to subscribe my channel and click the uh, bell icon right next to it. Also, you can follow me on Instagram with the ID of yoga for cure. Let's get started. Sit comfortably in Sukhasan. Spine relaxed, shoulder relaxed. Now inhale. Exhale, stretch to the side. Don't move your knee up. Just lift your one hand. And the other side. Exhale. Inhale. Very soft. Try to give a deeper stretch as much as possible. Side stretches and the twists. These two things are extremely good for your spine, especially for you to relax. Now right hand on the left knee, left hand exactly goes behind your spine. Open up your chest. Now give a mild twist, look back. Center, same thing the other side. Come to center once again. And the other side. Come to center. And then slowly come on your knee. We are going to practice Parvatasan to relax your spine. On your toe, on your knee. Now slowly lift your knee off the mat and very mild stretch to the spine. Push your heels high and then slowly drop down your heels. Keep your knees straight, look down to the stomach, tuck your tummy in, hold, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now come to full plank, drop your knee down, stretch your arms as far as possible. Drop your head down. Drop your forehead down. Just, just be here. You can feel the arms getting stretched nicely. Hold on. Now from here, slowly come to center. And then you're going to lie down on your back. Because most of the twisting Asanas are on your supine posture where you are lying down on your spine. Relax your spine completely. Make sure that your back bone, your tailbone is completely relaxing on the floor. Okay, keep your both the legs straight. Now, we are going to bend our right knee closer to the chest. Hold your knee from your both the hands. Just stay. Back leg relaxed, hold here for three counts. Continue to breathe longer. Three, two, one. Now open up your right hand on the floor to the shoulder level. From the left hand, try to push your knee to the left side. And it's not necessary that you have to drop your knee down completely on the floor. Just see how far you can actually give a twist. If you can hold here, that's great. Just hold. 
try not to force just give a twist depending on your body structure turn your head to the right long breathe in long breathe out you can feel a good twist in your side slowly come to center stretch your leg out and right hand comes right next to your hip now bend your left knee hold your knee from your both the hands and keep pulling it to the chest long breathe in long breathe out now open up your left hand on the shoulder level on the floor push your right knee left knee towards the right side turn your head to the other side every time you hold into the posture try to keep your eyes closed so that you can feel what stretch you're going through the easiest way to observe your body is to keep your eyes closed breathe in breathe out slowly come back to center stretch your leg out now bend your both the knee now get your both the knee closer to the chest slowly keep pulling it to the chest now open up your right hand to shoulder level from the left hand push your both the knee closer to the left side So now, when I push my hands to the left side, your both the knees should be on the floor, closer to the hand, closer to the left arm. Instead of dropping it here, try to keep it here. And turn your head to the right. Your both the arms should be on the floor. Make sure that your arm should not be lifted up. So you can take the help of your palm to pull your knee down. Three. Two, one. Come to center. Same thing the other side. Turn your head to the left. Eyes closed. Observe the twist. Observe your spine getting twisted. Just hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come to center. Now. keep pulling your knee to the chest give a tight hug to yourself as tight as possible but you should be able to breathe very comfortably just hold 3 2 one slowly drop your heels down now get your both the heels slightly apart from your hip okay your knee and your heel should not be in a straight line keep it slightly out open up your both the hands to shoulder level now drop your both the knee to the right drop your whole body weight to the right and the left right and the left come to center now the most important part you gonna go to shavasan and place your both the hands below the hip to the tailbone whatever you feel the tailbone the arch just feel the arch in your both the palm now close your eyes now you're going to observe your spine because more than relaxing you won't find any other remedy to recover from your stress of your muscles so just try to take a deep breath in and deep breath out observe your spine and try to be relaxed here for a while take your entire focus on your spine and your shoulder now slowly bend your both the knee lift your both the hands up straight slowly turn around and sit up this must be really peaceful and i'm sure you must be feeling uh, very relaxed after this this is very important because chakrasana is a very deep back bend and i'm sure you are uh, practicing a lot 
with my previous videos also working on your spine, working on your shoulder. At the same time, you need to give a bit of rest to your spine, which is more important. Okay, so no matter how good you are at your back bend, give enough breaks in your to the spine to relax. And once you are done with this take a break today and tomorrow sixth day and again you're going to practice seventh day we're going to do chakrasan so today you don't have to repeat day one day two day three day four but when you practice tomorrow the day six you have to practice first four days and then you're going to practice day six which will help you to reach day seven so keep practicing stay healthy